Hey guys, if you're enjoying this podcast and want to help us out, we are on Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash 7lamb, the number 7, L-A-M-B. You can donate as little as a dollar a month and it all goes to helping us create podcasts such as this one. We also have multiple tiers to choose from with tons of bonus content like scripts, extra podcasts, bloopers, talks with the cast, early releases, and bonus episodes of your favorite shows. Once again, that's patreon.com slash 7lamb, the number 7, L-A-M-B. Thanks. Damn it, Val. Val, why did you send Beth home? Where was he? The house was dark. Was he in bed already? Then I noticed the box by the lazy boy filled with work items. His name plaque sticking out. On the end of the table, a nearly empty bottle of scotch. Son of a bitch! Val! What the hell? Val, what are you doing? But when I walked outside, I nearly screamed. Val was swimming to the ladder with Hunter in his arms. Hunter? Call 911. What happened? Get an ambulance here. Val! Now, Delilah, call them now! Seven Land Productions presents... The Stone House. Episode 3. What? At first I thought I was dreaming, but then I saw the boat rock violently. Jesus. Val. Val, where are you? He wasn't in bed next to me. What happened? I remember Val yelling at me and then leaving the cabin, but then I climbed into bed, and I guess I cried myself to sleep. What time was it? Shit. It was storming. How? Val! Val! I stumbled my way to the stairs, hardly able to keep my footing. The boat continued to rock back and forth. Val! I went upstairs, and to my horror, a storm raged. We were right in the middle. Waves were crashing onto the deck. Lightning cracked the sky. Val! Please tell me he's okay. An empty champagne bottle hit my foot. Val! I scrambled for the railing on the starboard side. I grabbed hold of the slick pole. That's when I saw him. Val! Val, are you okay? Val! He was unconscious. I shook him violently. Val, what happened? Get up! Oh, what? Where are we? In the middle of a storm. We have to get out! Head. You hit your head? The sail. We have to get it up. It is. Oh, uh, the head sail. Now. He pointed towards a strap. The front sail was wrapped up. Hurry. But I couldn't get it loose. The thing was tangled. Just then, we launched over a five foot wave. Shit. Val nearly slid off the edge. 
I can't get it! Here. I helped him to his feet. Lightning once again cracked the sky, illuminating the huge waves. Holy shit. Every subsequent wave was bigger than the next. Neither Val nor I could keep our footing. I can't reach it! Me either! The boat tilted and we slammed into the railing. D, go downstairs and get on the radio. What do I say? Send an SOS. We need help. Use the sat phone if you need to. Where is it? By the radar. I'll get the sail up and try to keep her steady. Okay. When I got below deck, my heart sank. There was water. In the boat. It was ankle deep. The boat creaked and groaned from the strain of the rough waters. Ah, shit, shit, shit! Okay. Uh, sat phone. The boat listed again. This time, I fell and slammed my arm into the deck. Ah! I noticed the water seeping in through cracks in the hull. Oh, God, I needed to find that phone. But as I got up, I could feel the boat lift into the air. It came crashing down, which sent me flying back into the stairs. Shit! Val! Val! Delilah, get your life jacket on. He helped me up, but once again the boat launched forward, this time diving nose first into the sea. I grabbed my life jacket under the bed, just as the cabin cracked, the front of it splintering. Son of a bitch, radar's done! I couldn't find the sat phone! Just grab the- But he didn't have time to finish his sentence because water shot into the cabin with such force it knocked us both to the floor. I reached for Val as he reached for me. Delilah, we have to get out! We half swam to the steps. Val pushed me up as the boat listed and fell onto its side. We were forced back underwater. I could feel Val grasping for me. I reached out and grabbed his arm. I pulled. The boat was on its side and getting slammed from all angles. Swim! Swim! But just then, another wave hit us and the boat split in two. The three pushed us apart. No! D! No! I still had hold of the life jacket, which I threw on and quickly buckled. I was free from the ship, but I couldn't spot Val. Every wave seemed to carry me further and further from the wreckage. I fought hard to get back. Val! Val! Delilah! I saw him, bobbing on a bit of wood. I swam with all my strength. Here! I got you! I got you! He reached out. After several failed attempts, I finally got him. He pulled me onto the piece of wood. We held each other tight. The boat was gone, and the storm continued. We're gonna be okay. Hold tight. All I could do was nod. But then our bodies lifted as the water rose. Oh shit, hang on! The huge wave carried us several yards before we crashed down. The wood we were on split. Breaking apart and hitting me in the head. At that moment, everything went. I awoke to light gray clouds in the sky. A jacket was laying over me. It was wet, but so was I. I shivered. (coughs) 
D, you okay? I turned onto my side to see Val jogging up. <laughs> what? What happened? <coughs> where? Where the hell are we? First off, we're okay. That's the most important thing. As far as where we are, I, I don't know. Well, sit up slowly. How long was I out? I don't know. I tied the life jacket strap around me, too. We floated for a while. I fell asleep. And we washed up here. Where is here? I walked along the beach, uh, that way, but I didn't see anything. The rocks were blocking the path. Plus, I didn't want to leave you here by yourself for too long. Is this uh, an island? Probably. There's hundreds of them around Scotland. Hebrides. But I thought we made it further than that. No, we were north of Ireland. The currents probably took us further north. But there's one way to find out. He held out his hand. Ugh, I'm cold. Me too. The wind isn't so bad just past that point. He left me on the beach? Just for a moment, I was trying to find help. Ugh. You alright? Oh, my leg hurts a little. Oh, my shoulder. But that's it. What about you? Some cuts and bruises, and my head is throbbing. Got a knot the size of a plum here, but I'll live. Come on. We slowly made our way along the beach. I... I can't stop shaking. Let's go over here. Val led me to a grouping of rocks. These will block the wind. We can rest here. No, I don't want to rest. I want to find out where we are. Maybe I should go ahead. No. D. No! Okay. I thought you said this way was blocked. I think we can make it over these rocks. The sand on the beach was a light gray. Nothing like the soft sand I was used to. The wind whipped against the rocky coast to our right. Little green shrubs were somehow able to cling to the rocky edge. A few at the top had sturdy yellow flowers. At least the storm has moved on. In the distance, we could see the dark gray clouds and churning water. See that? Up there? Those are the rocks, but I, I think we can climb over. They're not high. Do we really have to climb? I think so. My body was sore, but I pushed on. When we reached the grouping of rocks blocking our path, we stopped. Well, I didn't think they were high, but... Where can we climb over? Actually, the water looks shallow here. We may be able to... I'm not going in the water. It looks knee-deep. I'm not going in the water. Okay. Then we'll climb over. Here, I'll give you a boost. Okay. I got it. You sure? Yeah. Do you need a hand? No. I can manage. There we go. Oh, look. More beach. At least it looks like an easy walk. We climbed down from the rocks and made our way along the mostly flat sand. I wanted to ask Val questions, but I decided to refrain until we knew more about our whereabouts. I don't know if we can make it over here. What about that? I pointed to a grassy hill. Let's try. We climbed up and over the hill to find more sandy beach. We needed to head inland, but the rock wall prevented that. Hey, what's that over there? What? Just over that dune. I don't see anything. Over here. I followed Val and eventually saw what he saw. Shit, how could I miss it? A large abandoned ship pinned between some rocks in the distance. 
It was worn and rusted with gaping holes in its side. Well, looks like we're not the only ones. That ship is old. I know. Let's check it out. Check it out? Why? We weren't searching for treasure. We were searching for help. The ship was huge. Half in the water, half on the beach. It looked like an old oil tanker. It must have run ashore, which means people were once here. Yeah, but are they still here? Who knows? We didn't. Hell, maybe we were in Scotland. The mainland. We needed to keep searching, but Val climbed atop the rocks. You want a boost? I'm not climbing that. You don't want to see inside? I don't want tetanus. Okay, I'm going to have a look real quick. Val, we should keep walking. I won't be long. But why? He didn't answer. He climbed aboard and disappeared from view. I made my way to the other side of the ship and sat. I was freezing, but at least the ship blocked the wind. Ten minutes passed and Val still wasn't back. What the hell was he doing? Oh. Ah! Jesus! Sorry. I'm done. What took you so long? It's a large ship. And? And nothing much. Not in terms of supplies. There was one room that was full of blue paint. Well, that and bird crap. Can we go now? Yeah. We continued our trek along the coast until we saw a large rock formation that looked to be a cave. Let's hope there's an exit. You want to go in? What else are we going to do? We can't climb that. Val motioned to the rocky coast next to us. He was right. We were still unable to find a suitable path. Maybe we can get through. The cave protected us from the wind, and there was ample light. There's a fork in the road. Well, since the light's coming from over there, I'd say that's the way we should go. Right. Except... What? Look. There was a bit of blue paint on the cave wall to the right. So? Hmm. What, Val? I'm just going to see what's over here. Why? One moment. Can you stop playing around, Val? Damn it. Delilah, come look at this. Val. Come here. D. I followed Val's voice deeper into the cave. It didn't take me long till I hit the dead end with Val staring up. What? what? Look at this. He pointed up. I turned around, and behind me, hundreds of paintings. Not prehistoric or done by Vikings, but newer ones. Maybe a couple of months old. I have no idea what it means. Many of the paintings look like child drawings. Pictures of boats and animals and mountains and... Is that a lighthouse? Yeah, I think so. Look at the water. And over there, what do you think those symbols mean? I don't know, Val. Several circles with squares and cone shapes surrounding stick figures. None of it made much sense. This... This is cool. I think that right there, that's a kraken. There were several empty wooden crates at the back of the cave, stacked on each other. Cans of paint were situated on top in a triangular formation. Can we go now? Okay, Dee. I just thought this was interesting. Val, we're shipwrecked. God knows where. I don't want a sightseeing tour. I'm making light of the situation. Now, seriously, we need to find help. Well, look at these paintings. Definitely not as old as the ship out there. So... So, there's probably someone here. Or maybe somehow we hit the mainland. There's only one way to find out, and it's not sitting in here admiring cave art. 
You don't have to snap at me. You're wasting time. I thought there may be supplies on that ship. <sighs> supplies? Seriously? Yes. To me, you're acting like a boy on a playground. You really want to fight? Not really. Good. Because I can't handle that shit right now. You can't! No, I understand we're fucked, but exploring on our way... Fuck exploring! We don't know where we are, Val! I understand that. Do you? This is serious! I'm in pain and I'm freezing! I understand that too, but there's no need to fight. You definitely wouldn't want that. What does that mean? Nothing. Delilah. Let's just keep walking. You holding something back? We stood in silence. I was holding back. There was a lot I wanted to say, but I forced myself to keep my mouth shut. Delilah! I want to keep going. Twenty minutes passed until we started to see the rocky coast level out. More grass and tall shrubs rose from the sand. One second, I have to pee. Val jogged off behind a large rock. I stood by the water, waiting. Well, that was fucking weird. What? There's people here. Wherever here is. Hmm, more paintings? I saw someone. Up there. On the ridge. Good. Wait, why is that weird? Well, because the man I saw, he, uh... Crawled on the ground. What do you mean, crawled? I mean, he crawled. It was weird, but he bent down and crawled over the ridge. What? Who would do that? I don't know. Are you sure? It was far, but I swear that's what happened. Well, that's creepy, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Are you sure it wasn't an animal? It wasn't. The dude was standing up. What do we do? Keep walking, right? (sighs) Eventually, we came upon a hill that rose away from the beach. Tall grass swayed in the wind. Up here. Val, I'm nervous. We're gonna be okay. Come on. You keep saying we're going to be okay. We are. I know what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. The grass here was up to my waist. I followed Val as he stomped out a thin trail. I don't know how he remains so calm right now. It actually annoyed me. Look over here. Now that's a view. Come on, Val. Take a look. I don't want to. Really? Yes, damn it! I'm cold, tired, hurt, and all I want to do is find out where we are. This isn't an adventure anymore. This is... Survival! Listen, I get it, Delilah. I do. I, too, am cold, tired, and hurt. I'm also hungry, and damn, I could go for a drink. I'm sure you could. (sighs) Now what? How was that champagne, Val? I had a little after dinner. You had more than a little. It was champagne, not fucking whiskey. So... So calm down. You bought it. For us to share. Which we did. I had half a glass when we opened it. Then why did you buy it? Maybe I shouldn't have. I was trying to let loose a bit. Be less... uh, controlling. I think you were trying to get me drunk. Are you fucking insane? Don't blame me because you have no self-control. I drank as much as you the first night. How much last night? Jesus, really? (laughs) Hell... I should have drank it all the first night. I would have if I knew you were going to bring up... A baby? 
That sends you over the edge? What edge? I wasn't drunk. Then answer my question. How much did you drink last night? For fuck's sake, Delilah. How did we end up in that storm? I fell asleep, okay? I fell asleep. That's all. On the deck. That's right. (sighs) I apologize for exploring, okay? Let's fucking go. We didn't talk at all for the next 20 minutes. We headed higher and higher. I could see the vast ocean in the distance. At one point, the land rose, what I believed was east. Hey. What? You hear that? No. There. I heard it. There's, uh, something over there. What is it? I don't know. We stood still as the grass ahead of us shook. It's getting closer. I don't see anything. Me either. Val, what if it's that guy? What guy? The the guy you said was crawling on the ground. Just stay behind me. Val picked up a grapefruit-sized rock as the grass began to park right in front of us. He lifted it, ready to strike. Val? What the hell? What is it? It's a cow. Actually, it was a calf. The small, spotted animal approached us cautiously, sniffing the air. Hey there, buddy. But it seemed uninterested and trotted off past us. Well, that's got to be a good sign, right? We continued up the grassy hill until we reached a small gravel walkway. Looks like we found the right path. At the top of the hill was a wide, flat area where the grass was short and yellowed. Whoa. To the right were more cows grazing. Six of them. This way. Val actually grabbed my hand as we rounded a grouping of rocks and saw more flat land. In the distance, a barn, and beyond that, a stone house. See? No need to worry. We found help. We followed the gravel path. None of the cows were interested and kept going about their day, eating the dry vegetation. Hello? When we reached the stone house, Val knocked on the thick wooden door. Hello? But no answer. Hey, hello? There has to be someone here. I'm sure there is. Hmm. Maybe if I... No, Val, you can't open the door. We need help. That's how people get shot. (sighs) Fine. Maybe we can... But when Val turned around, he froze. I followed his gaze to the barn where a tall man with thinning black hair and thick mustache stood, splattered in blood. An axe in hand. Well, hello there. Welcome to me island. The Stone House. Written and edited by Robert M. Lamb. Starring Corey Pettit as Delilah. Robert M. Lamb as Val. Jeff Leeson as Kenneth, Ariel Hack as Anne, co-starring Jack Austin and Megan Austin, 
Music provided by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. If you enjoy this podcast, don't forget to rate and review. Visit 7 for more podcasts such as this. This has been a Seven Lamb production.